Hello everyone, welcome back to Toulon once again. Today I'm covering an icon of the French Navy, the Lafayette class frigate, more specifically the Courbet. It is the first light stealth frigate to benefit from a midlife update. Let's get aboard to meet with the commanding officer to find out more about the new systems on board. Good morning, I'm uh, Commander El Adab. Um, I'm 40, I've been in the Navy for the last 20 years and I'm the commanding officer of the Fregate Courbet since uh, last January. What can you tell us about uh, the Frigate Courbet? Uh, Courbet is one of our five uh, Lafayette class uh, frigates. It was uh, commissioned in uh, 1997. The uh, Lafayette class frigate is known for its uh, stealth appearance due to its uh, um, exterior uh, uh, settings and uh, those frigates have been deployed in uh, most operations of the Navy for the past 20 years. Commander, you are the first commanding officer of the first modernized Lafayette class frigate. What kind of challenge does this represent for you and your crew? So for the crew the first challenge was to bring uh, its expertise to uh, all the people who had to work in the ship uh, in order to better manage the risk which is uh, inevitable on, on such uh, an operation. Um, the crew also provided the uh, first firefighting capability in case of a problem. And uh, now the crew is uh, operating the ship during the sea trials which are taking place uh, those days until the end of the work. You upgraded a number of uh, systems, uh, can you tell us about it and what kind of new capabilities uh, do, do these upgrades uh, bring to the ship? So the main capability which was added during this uh, modernization is the anti-submarine warfare uh, capability because we fitted the ship with a hull mounted sonar. Uh, but a lot of other capabilities were also upgraded if uh, not added. Uh, for example, the ship-to-ship uh, -ship missile system was upgraded to its latest increment. The uh, tactical data links uh, through a satellite system was uh, integrated into the uh, combat management system. And the uh, platform management system was completely uh, modernized to uh, latest versions of uh, hardware and software. Commander, can you uh, show us a little bit up close uh, those uh, three major upgrades? Sure, let's go to see the uh, new uh, SADROL uh, system and we'll go to the uh, CIC later to see the, the changes. So the, the system behind me is one of the two uh, short-range anti-missile systems installed during this uh, overall. It's uh, replacing the old uh, CROTAL uh, system which was installed uh, on those ships when they were commissioned. The, the first uh, uh, improvement with this system is that uh, it will allow uh, an easier uh, maintenance for the years to come because the old crotal was uh, becoming difficult to maintain because of its age. And furthermore, there are uh, now two uh, systems installed on those uh, vessels which will allow the ship to uh, assess two different missiles incoming from uh, both sides. So we are in the uh, Combat Information Center. This is the place where we conduct the operations when the ship is at sea. So everything was uh, modernized. The CIC was completely uh, dismantled and rebuilt from uh, scratch during this uh, overall to make place to the new combat management system, which is derived from the uh, carrier uh, uh, combat management system. So this system is a uh, tactical table which is uh, very ergonomic and easy to use. And this is the tool we use uh, to uh, assess the situation and uh, plan for the operations in the, the hours to come when we are at sea. So this uh, module is the uh, anti-submarine warfare module. Uh, you can see one of the new uh, combat management system console, which is uh, very modern, very ergonomic, very easy to use, and which uh, brings a lot of information to the uh, operators. And on the left, you've got the uh, hull-mounted sonar console, which uh, allows us to operate the new sonar. So the crew is being reinforced with uh, uh, specialists in uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, uh, operations. So they are going to uh, complement the uh, crew and bring us the expertise we need to operate this new capability as soon as the ship is uh, ready to go. Commander, when will you go back at sea and be operational again? 
So the sea trials will uh, end on uh, July the 23rd. Then the, the ship and the crew will uh, re-enter the uh, operation cycle and will start a training phase uh, in, in, the, uh, in September. And when this training phase will be over, the ship will be uh, able to uh, uh, fulfill the missions that uh, will be assigned to her. Very well, Commander. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. See you later. Good morning, I'm uh, Jean-Michel Coquel. I'm in charge of uh, the program for the modernization of uh, Fregat uh, Lafayette class. Jean-Michel, what is the role of Naval Group in this program? The role of uh, Naval Group in this program is to uh, modernize this kind of uh, ship, okay, integrating a new combat system, a new integrated platform management system and new other uh, pieces of equipment like uh, a new uh, boat lift. Were there any particular challenge uh, in this program so far? The challenge of this program is to be able to integrate new systems, new complex systems in a very short delay on existing uh, ship. And uh, for that, uh, it is based on uh, our strong skills in the building of new ships and also in the maintenance of a uh, ship for operational uh, conditions. Jean-Michel, last but not least, uh, does this program uh, shows uh, Naval Group know-how uh, in this field, modernization of existing ships, and uh, could it be applied for export uh, ships as well, export contracts? For sure, for sure. As uh, we have been able to do that for this one, for sure now we are able to, 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 to make the same for other ships and also for export ships. Very well, Jean-Michel, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.